Welcome to the candy, well we're not at the candy culture, we're in exposition park or food truck park or whatever you want to call it. But the candy culture has reopened after a month of switching out a display case and cleaning the goofy glacier machines. I don't know what they did in there, but nonetheless they're back with a, f a few new items, a lot of returning stuff, a lot of Werther's, everything, almost everything in there is Werther's at this point, but. I mean, it's already making my teeth hurt, so. There's prepackaged stuff we're gonna have next because Nana didn't tell me about it at Shut first. Shut up! You, 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 <laughs> you talking about the horse? Oh man. Anyway, uh, so we have one returning item, which is like the the quintessential thing from here, which is the cherry poison apple. Ch cherry poison. Poison. Cherry poison candy apple, or is it candy apple? Po How did they name it in there? Candy. Poison candy. Poison can cherry poison candy apple. Poison candy apple. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like that. Poison candy. Cherry apple. Right. Gonna eat that first. Where's the knife? There it is. But uh, you know the cookie's melting. You wanna wanna start cooking? Well, the co should, actually we should have the glaciers first, shouldn't we? I guess so. Never mind. We are so the so new decisive. We're so the girls. they have glaciers, but they put alcohol in them. And there's a choice of alcohol you could pick. Tito's vodka, you could pick whiskey, you could pick, what are the other options? Do you have them? <laughs> I didn't look that long. We weren't in there that long. We were in there for a good we're, minute. Yeah, sir. we ordered everything. I didn't. I am getting the picture. But the three goofy glacier flavor, or just, I guess they're just glaciers at this location. The three flavors that were Coke, they had wild cherry and blue raspberry. Uh, Jack Daniel, Fireball. Jack Daniel? Oh, Jack Daniel, Fireball. No, wait, let me just see the board. Rum, tequila, vodka, whiskey. Vodka. Vodki. Rum, tequila, vodka, whiskey, or cinnamon whiskey were the choices. But yeah, you could see Bacardi is the rum, Tito's is the vodka, Jose Cuervo is the. That's tequila, right? Jose Cuervo? I don't drink tequila. Um, so what's the whiskey? Oh, Jack Daniels. And Fireball's the cinnamon whiskey. So this is going to be. I know we could have had a, a rum and coke, but uh, or we could have had a Jack and Coke too, but we got the blue raspberry because the other two flavors are in there. So this is blue raspberry with whiskey. Decided you only live once, let's try it. Yeah. It's actually good. So, I like that combination. Did you mix it? Yeah. You didn't see me just stir it? It's actually not bad. Oh. It's good. I mean, it's it's a nice pour of whiskey, and then you get the sweetness of the blue raspberry on the back end. I mean, obviously, it melted in the 30 seconds we've been out here, but it's still pretty frozen in the middle. Wow, it's interesting flavor for sure. Now it's burning. Um, I, you know, I would like to look down upon simply adding alcohol into a frozen drink, but um, that's pretty good. Five? We should, we should put some shark gummies in there. So, what? Dun, 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 so you can dun. add toppings for a dollar to anything in there. We could have done that, but uh, like we're gonna say here is like the toppings don't make sense. Like the toppings don't come up with the straw. So why are you already eating the next thing? What's the name of this concoction? Kaludin. The, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Kaludin? <laughs> no, I didn't ask what sound does a Street Kaludin, Fighter character make Kaludin before they strike. Glacier. I asked what the item was. Kaludin! Kaludin Blue Glacier. <laughs> Nani! That's not what that is. It is Kaludin Blue Glacier. Cauldron oh, Brew Glacier. <laughs> Kaludin Blue. Kaludin Blue Glacier. I'll have the chicken Kaludin Blue. <laughs> Gordon, Gordon, what else? Uh, no, it's Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon Blue. Chicken Cordon Blue. Are you? Chicken Cordon Blue, I know. Ah, Cordon Blue. So, so, so. Co ah. Co Cauldron Blue, what do you call it? Cauldron. <laughs> cauldron. Like a children, but cauldron? No, not children. Cold. Sometimes the witches <laughs> put the children in the cauldron, <laughs> but not today. It's the Cauldron Brew Glacier, which is Close Coke, enough. Cherry, and Coke 
and then they throw on top marshmallows, gummy worms, and what are they? What what kind of rings are these? Uh, apple. Apple rings. Mm, it's good. Chotto matte. That's my favorite. Oh. Here, I have the third one. Thank you. If I remove. I don't know. People are gonna say I'm offensive. I lived in Japan for five months. You, you have to bow. No. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, I guess let's try. I mean, I'm expecting it to taste like, taste like cherry and Coke. Yeah. Yeah, what? So, I'm going to say something weird. Uh, these glaciers don't taste as overly sweet as in other places, and I like them better. Like, I don't feel like the sugar overload that I feel if I have these in other locations at Disney World. It tastes like a ginger somehow. Ginger? Yeah. Because I might eating all the candy, maybe that's me. I think you're tasting like that, that sweetness of the cherry uh, after the Coke is... Oh. What, what did you eat that was that bad? Sour! You ate them all, I can't even try one. There's two of them in there! Where? They fell in? They fell in? Yeah! Oh, they did. They were sitting on top for so long, I didn't think they did that. Sorry. I didn't know. We can't actually get to them. The straw will not get them. I, I don't think this is gonna work either. Chopsticks? Chopsticks? Oh, but I would pay money to watch you eat gummy worms with chopsticks. Oh yeah, we'll do. I would. Next podcast, we'll do. Oh, oh, those are, oh. They're so sour. Oh. I mean, it's a fun looking, it's thematic, right? It's fun. I mean, it is just frozen coconut. We do have a cherry. marshmallow in there. I'm wonder, like, do they supposed to do something like melt to make it better? Why would the marshmallow melt? Because it's in the water. It soaks whatever's in there, so that that marshmallow just tastes like Coke. Because they're sitting on the Coke layer. By the way, if you had not had Coke Oreos or Oreo Coke, you're missing out. Oh. Although I've seen people throwing them in the garbage at home. I what love them. They're fantastic. What are you whispering to your brother? What we happened? We have some in the office. Huh? We have some in the office. We do have some. Yeah, Jason gave me one the other day. That's what, I want to try. That's what started my love affair with the Oreo Coke and Coke Oreos. Did you drink them all? I only had one. I bought oh. a case for home for what me. What does it taste oh. like? What? It tastes like Oreo. It tastes like if you had an Oreo and then drank Coke Zero. That's what it tastes like. It's very good. Now the, the Coke Oreos, I also like. They have popping candy in them and they taste a little bit like soda. They're very good. This I'm gonna give a five. But just keep in mind like, they're, they're just frozen drinks. Like they're gonna taste like every frozen Coke and every frozen wild cherry and every frozen blue raspberry you've ever had. Although I will say again, I think someone put less sugar in the mix today because for some reason they're less sweet than they usually are. I mean, like I said, we eat the the apple gummy. Maybe is there a that's clean knife? Can I have a clean? Oh, okay. Should we start the cookie? The cookie's melting. So this is new, the poison apple cookie, which I think is gonna just kind of be a standard shortbread cookie with icing for them, but it's very cute. Very gonna, cute. Oh, it's Kawaii very, ne. it's very melted. It's so bad. Give me a napkin, please. Uh, it's so stale. Uh, they just opened today. It's so chalky. I mean, it tastes all right. You think that tastes okay? It, it dry. It's all chalky and dry and bad. I mean... You like that? I like the something that doesn't taste sweet. And this cookie is not sweet. But it's also not fresh. It's not fresh. But I know they have those kind of cookie exist in this world. It's like animal cracker. We have the worst. Disney the worst World like pastries. Animal cracker. No, animal crackers are good. Eh? That's not good. What are you hawing about? No, no, no. It just tastes like animal cracker. No, it doesn't. It tastes like stale garbage. Well, I have a two people that I can ask too. But... Katie, I want a second, a third opinion on the cookie, please. Yeah, definitely the bottom part tastes like animal cracker. That, that you know, Whoa. take all the water from your mouth, those kind of flavor. I don't even know what you just talked about. <laughs> Katie's the nicest person ever. She's about to leave a negative review, so she's like thinking about how to nicely say that she didn't like the cookie. There's too much cookie. Oh boy. For the icing. Too much cookie. Too much cookie. Too 
too much sugar. Should I even try to continue reviewing with this going on in the background? Um, so we had to move to Starbucks because the DJ showed up for the four people that are in Food Truck Park. So I'm gonna try this again. You shielding yourself? Yeah. Safety hazard. I've never done this before, so that might be part of the problem. They really expect people to do this? No, they no, just they expect you to take a bite. bite out of it. Should I just bite it? I don't know how to bite it. I don't like an apple to bite, but. I don't I'm, a, I'm a two princess. People cut the apple for me. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Speed this part up, Billy. I don't want to bite that. That's going to take me to the dentist for sure. Okay, bye. I guess I'm gonna bite it. It's stuck to the wrapper. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, your hands are dirty now. Like, look like you murdered somebody already. Want no secret, Nana? Uh, My hands are always dirty. Oh. Oh. It's not bad. I, I don't like this. candy apples. You have to try it. I'm not a big fan of a candy apple. Neither am I, but I think it's pretty good. It's not very sweet. I don't... There's like a little, you get like a little sweet cherry flavor to it. It's not, there's not much to it. <laughs> Would you like to put it back in the wrapper? It tastes like my car air freshener again. No, it doesn't. Do you have a cherry air freshener? I did, from Dollar Tree. That's Nana's review. It tastes like if you ate a Dollar Tree cherry car air freshener. It, um, I don't think it's that bad. It's good though, I like it. It's good. <laughs> it tastes like my air freshener. I like it. This year, I'll give you my car air freshener. So you know it's real subtle. So just like I had an apple with a very lightly sweet cherry oh, really? coating, it's not overly sweet. I thought it was going to be much sweeter. Yeah, it's, good. it's really now she loves it. You see what I deal with every week at work? Do you see this? You can change her mind real fast. Oh, yeah, it's good. Nana, on the TikTok, people said they ship us. Hey. We don't don't tell her. Okay, let's move on. We'll just wait for you to finish the apple. That's good. What do you give it out of seven, out of Nana? Mm. Nana is Japanese for seven, in case people do. Five or six. No, no, five. Again, like, like the other stuff, it's nothing crazy and weird and different, but it's certainly, if you want it, it's worth getting. If you want to know what it's my car smells like, this. If you've ever sat at home watching these videos and thought, I wonder what her car smells like. And if you ate it, what it would taste like. Well, boy, do we have the item for you. We're gonna eat these things now. These are pre-packaged snacks, but these are new to Candy Cauldron. They're exclusive to Candy Cauldron, at least for now. At least until five days from now, when someone decides they haven't sold enough of them and they wanna put them in, you know, the confectionery and every other candy store. Um, what a hottie. This is the what a hottie. Hades Fiery Jalapeno Milk Chocolate Bar, naturally and artificially flavored. 150 calories, three servings per bar. Hottis. I wonder if we get the golden ticket. Then you inherit the candy cauldron. Mm. Then it's your job to make <laughs> very bad baked goods <laughs> for the rest That's of your good, life. Though. That's how they find the next person to do it. Weedy Wonka, Weedy Wonka. That's not a song from Willy Wonka. Is there anything on the bar? No. Oh, look at that theming. Yeah, it is. Look. Is that's that a theming? The, that's the monorail station at the Polynesian. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it does look like it, though, doesn't it? Here, 
Bill, you want one? Are you allergic? That's fantastic. I know. I know. That is so good. It's super spicy. I waited to say it until after she took a bite. Oh, uh, what? Ow! It's really spicy. The milk chocolate's fantastic. It's very good quality. And then it's there's like a nice. I've, I've still got a burn going, like a real strong burn. Oh! Yeah. I thought that was gonna be No, I I decided to hold it in because I wanted her to have it. She was trying to trick you. <laughs> A trick, but like, usually we'll try at the same time. That's the fair thing to do. Oh. Don't worry, Nana. I think the next thing you're gonna like, because it's tasty tentacles. But not the kind we eat in Japan. Uh, sour octopus gummies. It's not. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. It hurt. It burned. I don't know. Oh, yeah, God. I know your your tolerance is not high. I know. Here, have a have a tentacle gummy. That'll help tentacle. you. Tentacle. Tentacle. Hey, cool. So pretty. Do they have an eight? No. No, because it's. A they only have seven. They supposed to have an eight. It octopus does have eight. Seven. Yeah, seven. octopus supposed to have eight. It has seven. It has seven legs. Why? Are they, they missing one? And honestly, one may not even be a leg. Oh. True. <laughs> All right, come on. I didn't really feel low calorie in, in, I mean, again, for being candy. You got five of these for 100 calories, it's pretty good. I mean, they're, they're sour, it's on the package. It says it's sour. Just like the candy bar says it's, it's spicy. It's not that sour. You don't think so? Oh. Maybe that's why I like it. It's sour enough, right? They're fine, they're average, but they're not, you're right, they're not super sour. I, I've got the, it I'm got not, weird. Okay, I don't know, what is, I don't know. You don't like them? I mean... Oh, I guess I'm we like, can give the candy bar a rating. I guess we give these things a rating still. I'm giving that candy bar a seven, by the way. I love that. It's very good. You're like, dumb. He, 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 like, it's he's... not bad milk chocolate. I, I expected that, like, real cheap milk chocolate taste where it kind of... I don't know. There's that weird aftertaste. It's really nice quality milk chocolate. But it it's is. super spicy. Katie just tried it and it's now yep. dying. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna need someone to help with news tonight this week. Um, it's really, I like the, you know, how they make octopus Even shape. though they're probably just spiders they order from a company, it's supposed to be a spider actually. Oh. Although it does have the head, so maybe not. Maybe it is supposed to be an octopus. Yeah, because they're supposed to be octopus. Packaging's cute, I like the packaging mm. on all this. Well this done. is the best packaging though. I love this cookies and cream. Clue and and they did a cutout of the Dalmatian. So it kind of looks like it's a Dalmatian with the spots. It's very cute. Woof, woof. Cute. That's actually the underneath of the bar. That's not the top. Uh, so they package it upside down. It's Cruella. Not, her name's not even on. Cookies and cream bar. Because bar, it's a bar, but then bar. Bark like a dog, but also chocolate bark. There's a lot of things going on. Try to keep up. It's white chocolate and cookie pieces. <laughs> oh, it's also themed to the Polynesian. See, that's not great. That's what I expected. It's not great. It tastes like cheap chocolate. It's weird because it's from the same company, but I guess their white chocolate just isn't as good. That is one of the worst cookies and cream things I've had. Uh, what did we give the octopuses out of seven? I mean, they only have seven legs, so seven. That's the highest rating. Oh, then six. Because they missed six, the one leg. Five. This is a one. Yeah. This is terrible. You can get from Walmart. No, but the chocolate's also bad quality, which isn't helping either. But you're right, there's not enough. There's not enough cookie. That's bad. Give me more of this. <laughs> and not that we're going to go eat at Jock Lindsay's directly after this, but I'm going to have another piece of this. I like this. I will be back for this Hades bar at some point. So Candy Cauldron is open. They have a lot of their old standards. There's nothing crazy. But I will tell you, I love this. I'll be back for this. Are you going to go back and get that again? She likes it, and she doesn't even like candy apples, so. I like my heart air freshener candy. But if you're not at Epcot, you're at Disney Springs, you want a Werther's thing, they have all that Werther's stuff in there. Not as wide of a selection as Epcot, but nonetheless, this is, I love this. With every fiber of my being, I love this. But that's the new candy cauldron at Disney Springs. New, they moved the case 